Tonight at 6, the community of Lithopolis is still recovering after Joseph Anderson killed his wife and two children before taking his own life. The two boys were just five and two years old. Now family and friends are left to pick up the pieces while trying to understand why. The Fairfield County Sheriff's Office is still investigating this tragic incident. We're learning new details tonight about the moments after a Fairfield County man shot and killed his wife and children before turning that gun on himself. As we mentioned, it happened in Lithopolis on a quiet street in the 300 block of Westview Terrace, about a half hour drive north of Lancaster. Investigators have not released a motive for the shooting, which took the lives of Jonathan, his wife Kira, and their two children. Reporter Kevin Landers went to the neighborhood looking for answers. Oh God, please don't let this end bad. Stunned neighbors watch SWAT officers from the Fairfield County Sheriff's Office swarm the outside of a home after 911 calls alerted them to a man who may have shot his wife and children inside the home. We have, look, there's this guy right there. He's on our sidewalk with gun, getting... with a freaking gun. The videos and other photos from neighbors show how this quiet neighborhood instantly turned into a crime scene. It wasn't until later when deputies made entry into the home that they discovered 30-year-old Jonathan Anderson, his wife, 29-year-old Kiera, and two sons, 5-year-old Joseph and 2-year-old Jeffrey, dead from gunshot wounds. Detectives have not released a motive behind the shooting, but say Joseph Anderson shot and killed his family before taking his own life. Neighbors tell 10TV they did not hear or know of anything that would have led them to believe something bad was about to happen. This Applebee's in Lancaster is where Kiera used to work. Her co-workers have set up a table in her honor. The table is draped with an army hat and flag in honor of her service to the country, as well as several photos inside a single plaque. Outside her home, a growing memorial of children's balloons honors the couple's two children who lost their lives. As the rest of the neighborhood prepares to celebrate Christmas, one family is left to mourn the loss of four people I wonder why this happened and could it have been prevented? Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Applebee sent us a statement on their behalf and it reads, quote, we're devastated to learn of the tragic passing of our beloved team member and her children. Our thoughts are with their loved ones during this incredibly difficult time. Kiera and Joseph Anderson, along with their two children, are dead. Joseph Anderson committed a murder suicide. He murdered his entire family, then turned the gun on himself. Why did he do it? We have yet to get a motive. Now, he was recorded walking down the street like a lunatic, like a killer with the same weapons he just got done killing his family with the SWAT team came out went inside the home and found the dad the husband Joseph Anderson deceased he killed himself now we can speculate. People are going crazy because of the jab. Maybe he lost his job. Maybe the world is too much for him. Maybe he's not strong enough to handle his issues. Maybe his marriage was breaking up. Whatever the case may be, this isn't supposed to happen in Swirl. Land. This is happening so much that it's noticeable that the swirling content creators don't want to talk about it. They don't want to discuss it. It's sticking out like a sore thumb. What would make this father of two boys? A wife. Now, the wife was in the military. She used to work at Applebee's. They set up a table for her. They're devastated. 
She was murdered in front of her children, then her children or vice versa. Whatever the case may be, they're all gone. It looks like they're in a decent neighborhood, the suburbs. Living in a good area, not in harm's way for the most part. And it's trouble in paradise. There's a growing memorial in front of the home. The entire neighborhood, the city is devastated. You have a lot of white guilt. This is a white father taking out his black wife and his white children. You are the seed of your father. Those children are white or should I say were white. I don't know who she is. Maybe she actually fell in love with him. Maybe she does not worship the skin color white. However, she still picked the wrong Mr. Clean. When you date black men, when you marry black men, you can't pick the right black man. When you jump the fence, this is the same pattern over and over and over and over again. You don't know how to pick Men, Kiara Anderson, if you married a black man, you would be alive today. Facts. There would not be a memorial outside of your peaceful home. That's the house on the block where a family was killed. It's going to be very, very hard to sell that home. It's going to be very, very hard to sell that home, which will bring the property value down even more. This story has yet to go viral. More than likely, it won't go viral. This is one of those stories. This is one of these murders tragedy that will go under the radar. Why? Because it's so much crime. I'm sure people have seen this story and said another dead family or another dead person and moved on. It's so much crime. It's so much murder. It's so much mayhem. It's so many people going crazy. Insane in the membrane that stories like this will fly under the radar. However, on channels like this, stories like this never, ever, and will never, ever fly under the radar. Because when we're talking about mating, when we're talking about choosing the best man, this has to be talked about, especially amongst black men and women. Because there is a narrative out there that black women should marry out, should date out. Again, I don't have a problem with it. But you have a white man murder his black wife. You have white men murdering their black girlfriend. Content creators, many, many of them, when they cover the news, they don't cover things like this. You know damn well these swirlers and divesters refuse to cover stories like this because they can't make a buck off of it. They can't say this is luxury. They got to call this what it is. Murder at the hands of Mr. Clean. What type of lunatic murder his two sons? Those two sons came from him. Those two sons came from him. He murdered them. And his wife. That nut job. That nut job that she picked. Hopefully she picked him because she thought he was the best man for the job. 
not because of his skin color. More than likely, she married him and had two boys with him because of his skin color. He had to show signs he was a lunatic. He was insane in the membrane. He had a few screws loose. Normally, there are signs. There's warning signs. Did she make any phone calls to her friends or family saying that he has changed? He's acting different. He's being more mean to the boys. He had to show warning signs. But what's also chilling is the way he was walking after he killed them. That was a neighborhood that was shocked to see that. Neighbors put out their camera phone and recorded him. He was walking like, oh, well. My sons had it coming. They mama had it coming. Just like a coward. He couldn't see himself doing the jail time, so he killed himself, killed his entire family and himself. Murder, suicide. Black women dating interracially needs to be discussed fairly, not one sided, not just they leave in black a stand because X, Y and Z, because it looks like you're making white stand. In the white community, you leave in Blackistan because, you know, whatever reasons you have, we're not going to get into on this video, but you're making white a stand in white America. This is white a stand. The swirling Mr. Clean video I covered before this, this is white a stand. You're in white America creating white a stand if you can. Live to see another day. If you can see 24 hours. If you can see 48 hours. I mean, this is alarming and it should be talked about by black women. You running around here talking about these relationships and then you try to put in how much you love Mr. Clean. I don't give a damn if you love Mr. Clean, but keep it a buck. He taking you out like it's like it's 1801, like you his property. But you all over social media talking about it's a better deal. It's luxury. It's time to swirl. It's time to divest. You all sound stupid. You sound dumb. You don't have the DNA. You don't have it in you to discuss this topic. You don't have it in you. You don't have the pedigree to have the real discussion on how to keep women and vulnerable girls safe. Girls that are being manipulated by these black women on social media that's telling young girls to get a man just as long as he's white. And many, many of them are ending up in body bags in big old black body bags 